our first stop on our New Mexico road trip, and it is El Mal Pais National Monument. We want to welcome you to El Moro, Valis Cadera, Pecos National Historical Park. This is Kayla, I'm Randy, and we are at Casa Katui, Ten Rocks. We welcome you to Fort Union National Monument. Life on the frontier. America Sparks is bringing the heat in New Mexico at Bandelier National Monument. Yeah, so I'm thinking about taking the girls on a daddy-daughter trip. And it is freezing up here. Man, we went from Death Valley the day before to this. The difference of elevation, nearly 8,000 feet. I don't know, maybe one at a time, and we'll visit some of our country's national parks. And that one was even too close for me. The dust storm! This is gonna blow us off the road! My head's getting coated with dust, I gotta close this window. I think I'll start with Kayla. How you doing, Kayla? I'm really tired, that's a long hike. This is after a long day of hiking. Oh man, I can't keep up with you, Kayla. I always wanted to see Yosemite and Sequoia and Death Valley out in California. Make sure you keep that wet towel on your head. I don't want your little body overheating. I'm not sure what to expect, but I think we'll be fine. Are uh, you having a good time? Yeah. All right. My caving shirt, one dollar from the Dollar Tree. Marcus Parks is going all in yellow today. I don't think I'll lose you in the cave. Helmets, our lights, our knee pads. Where's this thing end? We're not stopping until we hit that finish line. Let's keep going. Not time for dinner yet. I need just a little bit of a, a bite to eat to get me in between these two meals. So a little southwestern snack here at Taco Bell. Smack dab in the middle of the trail, all stretched out, just sunning himself. Man, I wish I got a picture of him. All right, let's keep going. I think we're off the trail already. I'm pretty sure that they fly straight up. I can't promise that. We got a bunch of new friends that we met out here tonight. We are waiting for the big show from the bats. All right, thanks for joining us today in America's Parks. We got a great video coming your way. We are way out in Western New Mexico at one of the first national monuments ever established. This is called El Moro. This location was very strategic because it was located near the only source of water for many miles. A governor of New Mexico inscribed it in 1605. Need a break? Want me to push it for you? Break up there. Yes, sir. Let me take some, uh, take a few yards for you. I'm serious. Few yards? Yeah, I'm serious. Here. Sure. Yeah, take a break. Here, take a break. Can you glass me a bottle of water? You sure? Yeah. Let's do it, baby. Come on, Kayla. Let's help these guys yeah, just out. Just there behind him. You know? After our break, come on. Yeah, we get to enjoy the parks. We got to do all the work, you know? You gotta do some work as well. Oh, Kayla. There's some serious heat going on right now, isn't there? I actually counted about six cars in the parking lot. That's dedication, folks, to our national parks. 102 degrees, a Thursday at 2 o'clock. That's dedication. 20 steps into the trip. You already got a petroglyph. Well, the temperature just went up to 105 degrees. 4.17 p.m. It's getting hotter, not colder, yeah. as this day is coming to an end. We're at that second stop. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. So if you don't mind, we're really wimping out at this national monument. But I think with an hour drive to Santa Fe, set up the tent, take a shower, we're gonna get a nice dinner tonight. We deserve it. Um, we're just gonna hit the road. 
But if there's one that people are somewhat familiar with, it'd be this one, Bandelier National Monument. This is where it gets fun. So we're upgrading their materials a little bit, a little right? Bit, yeah. But for the most part, the same soil, same same, same, same rocks, yeah. and the same procedure. I mean, you're using more uh, 21st century tools here. They would probably yeah, use what? They would have like, used their hand. Wait for those. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you. Go a little higher up to the top of the cliff. Get a little aerial of the canyon. And see some assembled Pueblos. It's because we reached. We oh, wow. You gotta remember what the guy told us. These are like the Park Avenue Pueblos out here. This is where Bill Gates would live. He wouldn't have a ladder. He'd have stairs. As a matter of fact, he'd have an elevator. Check that out. Health problems or fear of heights. Don't even think about it. I think we're good. There it is. Turn it upside down. How about that? You can see the canyon walls are kind of closing in on us. Our first stop here will be the slot canyon. But um, there's some really cool colors, like the white. Got a view up here. This was well worth the hike. Troublemaker, this is where you'd end up. This is the Fort Jail. Now, before we start our stroll, I'd like to set the stage for why there is this big fort seemingly in the middle of nowhere. But if you were an officer and you had a fireplace, those were made out of traditional bricks. And they didn't make those here. They put them on a wagon, one ton at a time, and ship them all the way out here from Missouri. Here is the, the marking of the mighty Santa Fe Trail. And I love coming to these national sites where we almost have the entire place to ourselves. Such behind me is referred to as the South Pueblo. Much of this was used for storage. And again, you can see the church way off in the distance. Dude must have been about 5'8". Perfect fit. It's called a caldera. And caldera in Spanish means big pot. That's what all this is. And it sure is spectacular. So we are at the end of the line right now. We drove as far into this preserve as you possibly can. And the views, Kayla. Yeah, they're great. I mean, you can't beat this. This is beautiful. We are making our way now to the hot springs. Beautiful warm water. Gorgeous scenery in front of me. And even a better view behind me. And good times for my daughter. Out here in New Mexico. I'm looking at that waterfall and I'm seeing some local residents walking out of it. You thinking what I'm thinking? 
even gotta try that waterfall out. It's time to put those wet clothes back on again. Let's go for a dip. Thank you.